That's how we're starting the video now, Snoop. Hello, my beautiful bugs. Welcome back to my channel, or if you're new here, welcome. My name is Brooke. And before we get started, I just wanted to put a little disclaimer out there and say, on my channel, we have absolutely no rules, especially when it comes to makeup. I always have a color scheme picked out in mind, but I never actually know what's going on my lid. Today, we decided to put the whole color wheel on my lid. And of course, we used the NYX Ultimate Colors Palette. It has all of these beautiful, vibrant shades, and I'm sure you guys are very familiar with this palette if you have been subscribed for a while. I use this palette all the time. It is a great drugstore palette. Anyways, let's just jump right in. There is cat hair everywhere. I'm sorry. <laughs> After we put up our hair, we are going to moisturize and I'm using the Neutrogena Hydro Boost Water Gel Moisturizer. Looks like that. And we're dropping the cap on ourselves again. We are going to dot some on our face. And we're going to rub this in gently. Now I'm going to take my Wet n Wild Primer Water and we're just going to spray that all over our face while we're waiting for the moisturizer to set into our skin. Now I'm going to take my e.l.f. Poreless Face Primer and we're just going to dot that all over our face and put that in any problem areas where we have lots of pores, which um, I put this all over my face because I feel like it really smooths out my foundation when I put it on. But I love putting it on my nose, obviously, because everybody has pores on their nose. Now I'm going to grab my concealer and I'm using the NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop Concealer. And this is in the shade Alabaster. And I'm going to put a little bit on my eyelids to act as an eyeshadow primer. Now we're going to blend that out with our really dirty BB blender. And we are going to take my empty setting powder and we are just going to set the inner portion of our eyes, like our inner corner right here, just so it doesn't get muddy or anything. Now we are going to take our tape and we are just going to right there and we will be right back. Now that we have our tape on our eyes, it is time to go in with our eyeshadow. And for our brush, we are going to be using the e.l.f. Eye Contour Brush. And the palettes, we are going to be using, of course, the NYX Ultimate Colors Palette. Mm, of course. And the first shade that we're going to dive into, um, I think it's going to be this corally shade right here. And we are just taking this corally shade and putting this into our inner corner of our crease. And we are barely putting it on the lid. If you get on the lid, it's fine. Um, just try not to. And I'm just dabbing this onto my lid or into my crease. I'm going to take the same brush and we're going to dive into, we're going to dive into this red shade up here. And we're just going to blend that right next to that corally color we put down. in this dark purple shade right here. And we're going to dive into this electric blue right here.
going to take our e.l.f. blending brush and we are just going to blend out these harsh, harsh edges. We are going to take some q-tips and some makeup remover and we are going to remove the coloring that is on our lid and we're only going until our crease of course now that we have removed the pigment we are going to take a flat packing brush and our concealer and we are going to cut our crease um, the easiest way to cut your crease is to just get some product on your little flat packing brush here and then going on the center of your lid, putting a lot of product on the center of your lid and then look up and around and you will see your actual crease line. Doing this will make sure you have the correct crease line nothing's wonky um it is your natural crease line this is what your eye does this is how it'll look and of course we're just going to fill in the space with our concealer Now I'm going to take my compact powder again and we are just going to set that concealer we put down. It is time to go back in to our NYX Ultimate Colors palette and of course we're going to use Q-tips again and we're going to go into this green shade right here. It's like a forest green. We're going to put this green shade on the outer portion of our waterline here and fading it out towards the bottom. And I like my under eye personally to look very messy. So that is just a personal preference to you. You can make it look very, very clean and just do it on your waterline and not go down past your lashes. But I personally like to make it messy. It matches my aesthetic. Now I'm going to dip into this orange shade right here and we are going to drag this out into that messy triangle line shape, whatever you want to call it, that I usually do under my eye. Kind of just drag it down into a point here. Like we've been crying, crying colors is what I like to call it. Now we are going to go in with this yellow shade right here and fill in the rest of our under eye all the way to the inner corner.
Now it's time to do lashes and mascara and we will be right back with the finished look. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. You can also click the bell icon down below to get notified every time I post a new video. See you guys next time.